Hello everyone and welcome back to another critique video and this time we're going to look at this gentleman here who I have no idea who that is. Okay, so on the left clearly is the reference photo and on the right is the drawing. And first off, let me just say this is a wonderful drawing. I like this drawing. It just has so many things to look at in here. And uh, I just, I think that the artist did a really good job of drawing this subject here. Can it be improved on? Yes. Uh, and that's what the subject of this critique video is, is how to push a drawing to make it have more pop. And usually how that's done is to pump up the contrast. So let me just point out some areas here that could help this drawing have uh, even more pop. So I'm going to use the Photoshop app here instead of pencil because uh, if I just print this out, it's, it's not going to allow me to erase or print anyway. It'd be kind of hard to do anything. So I'm going to just use a, a burn tool here, which will darken areas. And let me just point out some things. For example, if you look at the behind the ear here and the jacket area and this area right here, then we look here. The, this here, we have much more darkness behind the ear, behind the neck. Unfortunately, it's not captured here, which it really should. This whole area here should be darkened up and wider to match that reference photo. Right behind the beard here, you can see all this is dark. That way you can see these white hairs. And then you get into this area where it's behind where it's in front of his face, so it's much lighter. So you have this darker and this lighter. So you want to make that difference shown here. So that that's here. Let me see if I can get that to uh, darken in. I can a little bit. That's good. There's an area right here. You can see where you can see some dark. You want to make sure that gets in there. Okay. This is all darker. I'm going to just quickly do this. Just just gets a little more contrast. I don't want to do the whole jacket in this. Take a look at the contrast in the original. Do you see you have this dark area here on his face? Then you have this transition into the mid-tones and then the lighter tones here. And over here you can see you go from dark and then you transition. See it's real dark right up against the glasses, then goes more lighter, then it's lighter here, and then it goes really bright here. Okay. Now I could see here that we started darker and it went lighter, so he caught that. Though we're gonna go darker here on all four. Then it goes over here, which is barely lighter than here, and then here. But look at right here, you see that area right there? That is as bright as here and separates these two zones from this one zone. I hope you can see that right there. You see how bright that area is right there? Okay, we don't have that here. Okay, so you want to kind of bring that down best I can here. Now this area right there, you see this crease? That is a crease right underneath his chin or his yeah, it's his chin right here, and then that's his neck. We need that demarcation. That that just absolutely needs to be in there. I'm going to kind of focus right in there first and get that really nice and dark. Okay, and then now I'm going to go ahead and darken this area a little bit. And then I'm going to darken this, but gradually... Let it lighten up. Okay, so something like that. Let me get this darker here. Put 
definitely right in there. We definitely need that, that difference. Same here. You see the difference between the light and the dark. Okay, you want you want that you want that more pronounced. Make sure that you look for those areas and you make them as pronounced as the original. The other area I want to bring out here is the mouth. If you can look in the mouth here, okay, the teeth are really in shadow. See that? The tongue is in shadow. The teeth are in shadow. Here, the teeth are standing out really nice and bright compared to the mouth. And you can see all the lines between the teeth and everything. Okay. You don't want to do that. That's where when our mind starts taking over and, and saying, well, I see teeth, so I want teeth to be shown there. Uh, let's get that darkened up in there. It should not be showing. And then this area right here, you can see you want that. And this area right here, you want all these really contrasty shadows really needs to come out. So let's get that in there. Under the nose, definitely want that in there. Get that shadow in there because that really makes it pop when you do that. But look at the darkness here and how much of the reflection it really pops out. And then here you see way too much light. Uh, this area here should be darker, just like in the reference photo. This whole area down here is definitely darker. You want to get that in there. And by darkening that, you increase the reflection on the glasses itself. And now this, this can all be done with charcoal or carbon pencils, by the way. Um, this drawing was pretty much pushed to its limit with graphite. And the artist had mentioned that um, he had he had burnished it pretty hard and he was afraid trying to get it hard uh, darker that you know the pencils would just slide off because it it got really glassy and that happens when you press a lot of graphite in there it you're pressing down the paper fibers and and then nothing will write on top of it you can't get any darker with it so for one thing it's better that you do not ever lay down your graphite hard you always want to do it with a light touch and then just go up in grades you know to the softer pencils and lay down layers so that they're they're easier to go darker and also uh, to erase if necessary um, but for example if you want to really push a drawing don't be afraid to add charcoal or carbon or both 9xxb pencils those kind of things with your graphite learn how to use the the two together and uh, you will be able to really make these drawings pop even more okay see this area this shadow right here you 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 want to get it in there so get it in there you want those shadows you want those contrasting uh, tones okay right here under the hat should never be a, a white line underneath there it should go right into the shadows here this is area here under the hat where there's no light let's get it dark let's just make that really really pop there see this area right here where the hat goes around to the back you see how it's in the shadow here it's in the light you want to get it in the shadow let's get that in the shadow the hat itself see this difference here this solid black here you can see pencil marks these lines I don't know if you can see it on the camera but they have these lines that are going across you don't want that to you gotta you want to blend really really good and give it a smoother texture if it's a solid black subject and here in the hat it is if you take a look right here see and these are very Sometimes you have to step back or have someone look at your drawing for you because you may not catch these, but look at this. You see how dark this is here, right on the top of the nose. Then look what happens right over the bridge of the glasses. Look how much lighter that is. This is more the same tone as the forehead, 
but then it goes boom right in this dark area but do you see that here no here this matches this and matches this the whole area here is the same this area right here needs to be darker okay and I'll just draw that in as best I can with this but this needs to be darker. It needs to show the shadow that is being tossed down over it. Over here, again, and I'm going to have to magnify this so you can see it. It's kind of blurry, unfortunately. But you see all these lines? So you have this dark and then this light, dark, light, dark, light, all within this area that's supposed to be a shadow. A shadow doesn't have all these different white, lines and dark lines and all that it should be solid let me fit that back so if you look here on this one see that's solid so again I'm gonna get my drawing tool here and you wanna make that a solid shadow see this shadow coming down it loops down and then it goes across the band like so and then it loops up and then goes back okay then you have this mid-tone shadow here and then this bright area now you come over here and notice this shadow you can see the lines again but you don't want that you want this smooth down here like I just did here Okay, or if you look here, it just, that's a solid shadow. You want a solid shadow in here, and look at the shape. This is a moon. So if I was going to try to fix that. Now, <clears throat> take a look at the teeth here. Do you see how this is washed out right up here? And you don't see all these hard lines coming down? But notice the difference here. You see, it's like thread through holes. And that's not what we see here. This area right here should be lightened up to look like this without these dramatic lines here. Yeah, you know, let's get that decreased. Look at right here. You see, you don't see teeth here. You see teeth here but you don't see it here but the artist drew in the teeth even though it's not in the original if it's not in the original don't in the reference don't add it all right that's closer to what the the original looks like so little details like that I'm going to bring out the contrast between the ear and the side of the face if you see here you have this shaded area with the ear and then you see the side of the face is much brighter so you can see the difference between the two but over here unfortunately they look close to being the same I mean there's a mild difference but not as contrast as this one this is much different so again you need to you need to bring that out the ear area and the side of the face okay so you want that this here is not as bright as this you know just kind of tone that down a little bit you know if you see differences between like the glove here you can see how dark it is here and then it's lighter on this part even though it's all one dark leather glove you want to put those differences so this area right here for example is slightly darker than this area here so kind of put that in there and down here see so I'm going to do that real quick now this is a little darker than this area right here okay you want to make sure you see how in between the fingers you have these highlights well there's no highlights showing here because you didn't put you don't have enough darkness in between those finger fingers for one and then you got to bring out the, the brightness, let me dodge that if I can, and let me see if I could increase that. So you want these things, there we go. So we got some reflection on the leather itself. Okay, you want that, let's get a little reflection going here. You know, these little gem things are shining off the light. Let's get those in there, let's get some reflection going off here. 
because there's light coming off of the dart. And the only way you're going to get the bright reflections is if it's got a dark spot right next to it. So there, we brought out some reflections. We have a lot of bright reflections here that can really be brought out. But in order to do that, you're going to have to have the areas in between dark. So get those in there. This whole area here, dark, get that in there. So the reflections can come out much better. Okay, this whole jacket here, the, the depth of these uh, creases will really pop if you can just get in the shadows there and just get that dark area there that is not in the light. Just get that in there. It's not in the light, so make it sans light. In other words, get the light out of there. Just get that those creases nice and dark like the reference shows. These creases in the leather jacket. And watch how those creases just pop. Okay. And we can bring out these highlights. Anywhere you see reflections, you can just bring those out. Well, that's going to do it for this critique video and so the point I want to get across is don't be afraid to go darker use that charcoal or that carbon pencil or a 9xxb or some pencil similar to that that can give you the really deep rich dark black and get in there in the shadows and really make your drawings pop you would be surprised on just that little adjustment how much more you can lift that drawing out on the left is the before and the right is just by darkening some of those shadows and making everything nice and blended anyway I want to thank you all for watching this I hope you liked it and so uh, I'd appreciate a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and click the notification bell and I will see you in the next video thanks bye